Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video kind of like this the other day, but this is the best reason to use it that I've seen. This is a, this was a CBS file, it's 74 objects, and if you look at it in wireframe, I actually have already done it for the gentleman, and if you look at it in wireframe, it's actually, you know, a heart, and then the colors would stop on the edge of the heart. And there's really no way to uh, take it apart and change the color. Because if you just change it to red, you get that. And I just did a video about replacing it. And, and I wasn't going to do this. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it. just Because he's actually going to print them on a t-shirt. And for this, this would help you if you're a non-laser engraver or a laser engraver to change all these blacks. And I'm gonna, so I sent it back to him, and it's an RGB red. But I thought he might not want it because I don't know anything about printing on T-shirts. What color you actually need? So we're gonna go to Edit, Find and Replace, Replace Objects, Replace Color. We're gonna click on here, and we're gonna, I'm gonna, I know that the black is RGB, and I'm gonna get my, and you can see right there is black zero zero. So we want to take the black, but we want to convert it to a red. So if you're watching this video, the one I did the heart for, you can make it a CMYK, but I'm going to make it like I did with an RGB. I'm going to take my eyedropper tool, and because there's no red on the screen, I'll just go over here to my RGB red, and then hit finish and replace all. And Corel did it that fast. He was saying that, you know, he could replace them one at a time. So if we go to arrange and ungroup them, he could have taken these individually and turned them red, but it would have taken forever. And the reason you can't just take it and just change it to red is because they're really, <clears throat> they're color field. They're not objects I, is what I'm thinking. Because if you hit red, you get the whole thing red. So that's one way to make it red with the smart field, I mean, not the smart field tool, the find and replace tool. And that's pretty cool to do it that fast. Let's just do it again. Let's see if it's still grouped together. See, this way you don't have to ungroup it. Let's group all objects. And this is, see, this is, you can't just take it and make it red. Because that was his problem. So let's go to edit, find, replace, replace objects, replace color. Let's get the eyedropper tool and get on the black. And see it changes its RGB automatically. X out. Get the eyedropper tool. And you can make it any color you want. X that out. Finish. Replace all. And it's pretty cool to watch Corel do that. And then that is red, and it is a RGB red. That's pretty cool. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.